Hey Aries, it is the Sun Sage. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This reading is your feelings versus their feelings. So I am taking a look at someone you're connected to to see what the feelings are for you versus the person you're dealing with. All right, so this is um, a focus on a specific connection. There will be singles readings on Patreon if you're interested in a single specific messages or messages that focus on the individual Aries energy. There are new singles readings coming out this week, but there are already um, messages up already on Patreon. All right. So let's see, Aries, what is going on for you guys? Aries placement, sun, moon, Venus rising, your feelings versus their feelings. Okay, I'm starting with yours. So you have the Nine of Swords. All right, what do we have for Aries? Their feelings about their person right now. Let's see. Six of Pentacles. Um, Giving things another chance. Things have calmed down a bit. You feel... You feel better about giving them another opportunity. Um, what's going on with Aries? How how are your feelings? Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is a this is all about a new start. You're giving someone else another chance, but I think it comes with some uh some of your boundaries attached to it. Seven of Wands. This very strongly feels like okay, you know, I I. I was about to leave you or I was about to stop dealing with you, but you know, you did something that made me feel like you're going to try. So I'll give this another chance. But if something happens again, right? Seven of wands. But if you threaten my peace with the seven of wands, um, it's over. So I feel like you guys are very serious right now about starting over, but starting over your way. It feels like you won in this energy with your person. It feels like they're going to do things your way here. Let's see. How do they feel about you? I'll clarify these in a moment. How do they feel about you right now, Aries? You got your way. Knight of Wands for how they feel about you. Yes, passion and sexiness. Um, Eight of Cups. All right. How do they feel about you? Mm, five of wands. Okay. So there's still something here, right? I wouldn't be doing you guys justice if, if that didn't, if I didn't point that out. There's still something here. Seven of pentacles. There's still some growth necessary. There's still some healing needed in this connection. How this person feels about you, it very strongly comes off that the reason why you guys had issues or the reason why there's been some issues in your relationship with them is because they're giving you a part of themselves, but denying you other parts of themselves. So they're all here for the attraction, the sexiness that they feel with you. There's a very intense, right? They don't want to lose that apparently. But the Eight of Cups, um, you have someone who is saying in this message, I'm still emotionally unfulfilled, right? This can happen when they feel like you're not easy to talk to. Or they tell you things and you don't respond in a comforting way. There's something about their emotional needs not being met while their physical needs are. And this is the clash and the conflict, right? The five of wands. So it's almost like you, you did win, right? A battle. But there's still something here saying there's a, a bigger problem and war within this connection that if there is no solution, there could still be conflict, right? Um, it's almost like your person wants to say, I love you, but, and, and I do want to start over with you, but I don't know if I can do this long term if we don't work these things out. And so, um, they may be keeping that part to themselves. I'll be honest in this energy, you don't look at all like you've lost anything in this, in this sort of situation, but your person feels like how they feel about you. Let's just clarify. Let's just see what comes through. Um, the six of swords. So for how you feel about them, again, it feels like you have reached a place in your mood where you're ready to give them another chance. Some of you were thinking about leaving this person recently. 
the will of fortune. You were about to change things up in this connection. You were about to walk out the door. You were about to go, I'm single now. You were really about to like move in another direction. Some of you feel as if with the will of fortune, this still kind of happened, right? Um, you were able to go, okay, yeah, we can get back together or yes, we can work this out, but I am going to go out more or I am going to have more time to myself, right? Again, there's something here that you want. Let me see what this Wheel of Fortune is about. It's a good time in your connection right now for you, all right? Your person is giving in. They are relenting. They are I'm, okay, I'm not going to press this issue anymore. So that's what I feel. Right now is a good time it's to be you in this connection. Yes, four of swords. You got what you wanted. You got your peace. There's something here about the relationship is intact for now, right? Um, the six of pentacles feels like giving them another chance, working on this connection, Going, okay, I'll be more invested, right? Okay, I'll listen more to you, something like that. But still, it feels as if you're getting something out of this person that you wanted. Somebody here is getting a relationship out of this person, even though the person you're dealing with feels like um, maybe sometimes you're insensitive. That feel, This feels uh, specific. So if you're like, no, we have a great relationship and those are right things that are great. Um, this feels like I'm tapping into an Aries who with the Ace of Wands and how they feel about their person, you're getting a chance to, to try things in a new, different way with them. All right. You're inspired to make things work with them. And Seven of Wands, you're doing it with your boundaries intact, coming through very strongly. Again, the Seven of Wands, you stood up for yourself. And so you are getting a lot of what you want. It's kind of like a divorce settlement where someone goes, I want the, the, the boat, right? I want the yacht. And they go, you know, no, I don't want to give you the yacht because, well, and then you're like, no, well, I want the yacht and you put your reasons out and then they go, fine, you have, you can have it. Something is happening where you won, right? The battle. Um, but I do feel like your energy is very strong here. And that feels like something that makes your person feel defeated. I'll just say it. They feel a little defeated and it's like, they're going to give you what you want, but they're doing it from a space of weakness, from a space of can they be a strong partner to you, right? Um, or do, at some point, does this person feel cornered and they lash out at you, right? Something has happened where it feels like you were very strong, very forceful. You're giving this another chance. But again, there's something here about it that feels like your boundaries are respected. Your person feels, maybe you guys like had makeup, like you you hooked up, like that was your makeup, um, the night of of wands. And it was kind of like everything we, we were having issues with. We're kind of going to, you know, just let it go a little bit. What is this night of wands? You guys have a, a Sagittarius here. Um, the four of cups, how they feel about you. Yeah, I got the three of swords. They're so defeated right now, Aries. I feel where it's almost like I have two people standing here in front of me. This is the visual I get. And Aries, you are the person that feels empowered. You are the person that feels like you have the upper hand in the connect. Like what I'm missing is a balance. And so your person is feeling defeated, right? They're feeling weak. They're feeling like they're just going along because they're afraid of you almost. That's what I get. They're scared to piss you off now. They're scared to do something now. And so that four of cups, it almost feels like they did give in and compromise. And with that four of cups, it's almost like they're saying, do I even want this? Like, do I even want to be with somebody who who would do this to me or something like that? Now I got to see what the Four of Cups is. It's the Ace of Cups. They compromise with you out of love for sure. This person is letting you know they're not just interested in you 
physically, but I think part of the compromise was you guys intimately connected and that helped make things up, but they have a lot more feelings. They want to get off their chest, some things they want to say. I feel very strongly. Um, you have justice here, Libra energy. I feel very strongly this person went, okay, I won't bring up the things that are bothering me. I love Aries, so I'll let them have this. But is that sustainable, right? Because this is what happens. Somebody hides those feelings, they suppress, and then all of a sudden they're lashing out, right? And you're like, where did this come from? We had an opportunity to talk. So what's the Eight of Cups? Seven of Swords. Yeah, they're lying about their feelings. They're like, I'm good. I'm great. We're, we're good. We're straight. But they're not. And they could even be waiting till they, they get the upper hand again. So just be mindful of that. You're very strong. And again, when relationships lack balance, there are games played to restore that balance or to bring shift it in the favor of another person. And it feels like your person is almost planning to find a way to shift that energy back in their favor because they feel emotionally um, taken advantage of at this time. And I feel like there's energies here that at some point when they get their energy again, when they... Um, Maybe realize that you won, they're going to fight back or something. What's this five of wands? This is a power struggle with somebody you're dealing with a very, um, definitely a power struggle, but they're trying to get their energy back. So it's almost like your person would say, I let Aries have that, right? I let you win. But, oh, the next time. You know, it's like they're almost plotting to to defeat you in the next argument, right? In the next battle. And so this is a connection that I feel lacks a little bit of stability. All right. Um, it's kind of a winner take all, a competitive vibe within something that's supposed to be a partnership. You're both in it for yourselves, thinking about things about this connection that benefit you individual individually. There's definitely love here. Your person who you're dealing with, in love with you. But I almost feel like they're, they see it now for a cuts as I've been blinded by my attraction to Aries. I've been blinded by Aries forcefulness that I found um, challenging and sexy. I now see where it makes me feel like I'm not tough, like I'm not powerful. And that is something this person feels like when they get the chance they're going to try to switch it up and, and shift the shift that that power, that power energy. All right. Or that. Uh, well, I guess, yeah, power. They, there's a, a dynamic shift coming in your connection and your person is concerned that they look weak, that they look weak right now. And so they're going to do something to try to make themselves feel like they're back in a position of power with you. All right. So Aries, good luck to you guys in this situation. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. I do appreciate you guys. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, check out those details in the description box.